everyone, and welcome back to Brink of Speed. I'm glad that you have pressed that play button today and joined me. So I wanted to talk about Corvette splitting off from GM and Chevrolet and becoming its own brand. And what will this do to the C8? So I wanted to make this video because there are so many people out there saying that Corvette should split off from Chevrolet and that this is how the C8 mid-engine Corvette should be presented. And I don't understand that. I'm not sure why most of these people are saying this as they really aren't giving explanations with their opinions. So I'd like to have some really great explanations of why this would be so great for Corvette and how this would not only help Corvette, but also not hurt Chevrolet or GM in the process. I'm going to give my opinion on the matter and tell you what comes to my mind when I think about Corvette going out on their own. First of all, I think this would only maybe be possible for the areas that get large allocations of Corvettes. Take for example, I know the city of Dallas has quite a few dealerships that have thousands of new Corvettes delivered to them every year. However, a small city that probably only has one Chevrolet dealership may only have a hundred or less Corvettes delivered to them. I know from being in the car business that a dealership cannot survive if it's only selling a hundred cars a year. I mean, that's just common sense. This would be a huge problem for small towns or cities. So in these cases, what would Chevrolet do? Would they just have a small section built onto a current dealership? And this would just be for Corvettes only? What would this do to the price of the car? In my opinion, it would make the price go up substantially. Chevrolet isn't going to just build all of these new Corvette only dealerships out of the goodness of their hearts. Plus, if you look at the history of General Motors, its mission statement has always been to be able to bring quality cars to the public at a reasonable price. This would no longer apply to Corvette if it was its own brand. Is something similar to this already happening today? Yes. Corvette World in Dallas and Houston both sell only used Corvettes and they both sell anywhere from 30 to 50 per month. It's quite impressive. Keep in mind though, these aren't new Corvettes, they aren't relying on allocations, and they have no limits on how many cars they can go out and buy to fill their showrooms. If Chevrolet came up with a way to make a new Corvette dealership run like Corvette World, it still might not sell enough new Corvettes and they may have to build more Corvette only dealerships in the bigger cities. So I ask you, what is this really doing for Corvette? Would this decrease the sales on Corvettes? Would this increase the price of the Corvette? How would this benefit Chevrolet? How would it benefit GM? And my final question is, how will this help the C8 Corvette? I would love to hear all of your comments uh, in the comment section below. Please give me great explanations of this because I want to understand what everyone is saying when they uh, leave comments on my videos talking about how you know, Chevrolet needs to uh, depart from, or Corvette needs to depart from Chevrolet and it needs to become its own brand. I just don't understand that it doesn't make any sense to me. I'm not saying it can't work, but I'm also not convinced that it can. So uh, with that being said, that's gonna do it for me today. Uh, please give me a big thumbs up if you like the video. Obviously, if you have not joined the Brink of Speed community, we would love to have you. So smash that subscribe and the bell notification so that you're notified when my new content comes out. And you guys have a wonderful rest of your weekend, and I'll see you out on the road.